10 o'clock feeding for the guap i be beaming hey guys it's Hannah. what's up it's been a minute since i filmed because i was very sick this past week this is probably like the first day that i'm feeling myself again definitely not a hundred percent but a lot better than i was doing it was not covid thankfully um it was similar to like a mono virus but it wasn't mono i don't know what it was but i was in bed for basically a week long and my window's open like should i close it but i was in bed for a week long and was not able to do anything so i missed my upload last thursday which i was like devastated about because i have been so consistent like i literally have not missed a sunday and a thursday for probably like four months so i was really upset but there's nothing i could do today we're back with a thrift haul this is actually the part two to my come thrifting with me in the suburbs this is probably like one of my most exciting thrift hauls and i couldn't film it right when i wanted to because i was not feeling well so i'm really excited today guys i got a lot of stuff i got two bags if you haven't seen that come thrift with me i'll link it below i was really shocked with how much stuff I got, I got two full bags, okay? I went to two different Value Villages. Actually, one of them, it was Richmond Hill Value Village, was absolutely huge, and I found a lot of, a lot of good stuff. So I'm excited for this haul. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Join the channel so that you don't miss any future thrift hauls, because I'm gonna have to be going back to that Richmond Hill Value Village sooner than later, so expect another one of these and um we're just gonna get started okay i guess i'll just show you guys by store because that's basically how these bags are organized could be wrong i don't know i tried this stuff on just earlier this morning um i had to literally leave this stuff in its bag for longer than like a week and a half and i wasn't able to try it on because i wasn't feeling well i wasn't trying to like put on you know like unwashed thrifted clothes so today I like, tried all this shit on. We're gonna start off with a fucking amazing item. Like, let's not beat around the bush here. We're gonna start off with a pair of apple bottom jeans. And these jeans are absolutely crazy. In the past, I've bought a pair. I actually made a bag out of apple bottom jeans, which is what I'm gonna be doing with these ones as well. I'll insert a little picture here. I still haven't sold that bag. So if anyone wants to buy that bag, I mean, DM me on Instagram. <laughs> I don't know. Follow my bag account. It's Mega Dumila. I've posted it on there if you're interested. I'm going to be doing a shoulder bag out of these ones, and I just had to get these. This is the kind of thing where I'm like, I don't even care if they fit. I'm getting them. The little stem for the apples on the actual jean, and then the pocket is just in the shape of an apple. My favorite thing about apple bottom jeans is all the little details. So on the zipper here, it says sweet to the core. And these are just like such fun things to sew on different parts of bags and everything about them like all the labels are just amazing okay i did get a lot of nice little tops so one that is probably my favorite is this ivory tank and it is just like the cutest thing i've ever seen okay it's got this lace detailing that's almost like a crochet fishnet and it has a little slip under it but this overlay is a little bit longer and it's so flattering i was really happy that i could adjust the straps because when i first put it on it was a little bit too like high up on my neck but the way it just like drapes it's very beachy i have a lot of outfit ideas for this little tank you guys will definitely be seeing me a stylist in some future videos and this was only $4.49. Both of these value villages were significantly cheaper than the one I usually go to, so that was a nice little surprise. Along the lines of dainty little tops, it's fitted, and the details on this are just so adorable. So it's got a lace trim around the neck, and then this little flower, probably the most adorable shirt ever, and it's got ribbing in the center of it it's very flattering another pink shirt this one is definitely one of my favorite styles of shirts any sort of tank top i just find is the most comfortable thing to wear like if i could choose one garment to wear my entire life it'd be a tank top just based off of the comfort this one it goes over the shoulders and then it has this extra little string to um tie around your neck so it's like a halter so it actually looks really cute. You guys will see in the try on when it's on like this. It's just like a little something extra than your basic tank top, which I definitely <laughs> love. And this one actually fits me super tight, which is nice. Because originally I thought it would be a little bit looser, which 
still bought it, but it's tight, which is really nice. Okay, next up, I got another tank top. This one is not a cami. It's like a little vest kind of tank. So it's from Jones, New York. I bought this because it's pure white. It's brand new looking. There's just like no stains, which honestly can be a little bit rare when you're buying an all white item from the thrift store. I absolutely love the little embroidered crescent thing going on. Reminds me of like a school uniform, but just like a little bit more bougie because it's all white, okay? I'm gonna wear it buttoned up all the way. I think I can style this in some cool ways. I don't really have any sort of tank in this style with the collar. And again, I love these little collared button-ups, but sometimes the t-shirts are just too thick. I feel restrained and I'm just like, ugh. So the fact that this doesn't have sleeves just like solves all my problems. Next shirt, this was like a little bit of an irrelevant purchase. My mom was like, I'm gonna like, just don't get that. Like you don't need it. You know, you're already getting all this other stuff. We're gonna go to another store. And I'm like, mom, I'm getting it. It's a gray t-shirt and it says annoying the world one person at a time. Okay, <laughs> I just thought it was really funny and also, I don't know, graphic tees that are a little bit funny, you know, it's a little bit funny, <laughs> are just really cute to me. And um, I love the red. I'm not crazy about the font, like if anything, this will just become my lounge t-shirt. You know, you always need like an endless supply of those. Another crazy pair of jeans that don't fit me. These are bedazzled true religion jeans. This is the type of thing I see on the fucking rack. I look at it and I'm like, how did somebody donate these? Like what? So these are a size 24. They're like itty bitty. I already knew from the jump these are not going to fit me. Um, these are just like everything. They might even be kids. I don't know. But the zipper has a little horseshoe in it. These are the kind of details that really when you're making something out of a garment, like I'm going to definitely make a purse of these, level it up. Like it just looks so cool. And yeah, I could not pass up these bejeweled pockets. These jeans were $14.99 and yeah, I just needed these. I knew I was going to buy them as soon as I saw them. I bought this little pink and white dress, which I got home, showed my brother, and he was like, I mean, that shit is stained. So I'm probably going to end up returning this one. It has like yellow streaks along the side. And then also on the bottom, I like did not even realize, which normally I'm really good at looking, you know, if there's fucking stains all over the piece I'm buying. But I just like didn't even take it in. I thought it was so adorable. The neckline. I love how it's the same on the front and the back. It's so cute. The next store, I got some good shit. And I'm going to start with, this is probably one of my favorite things I got. Just because I know I'm going to get the most wear out of this. And again with the all white. Like not even a single stain on this fucking vest. So this is from... Fairweather. I've been wanting a vest exactly like this. Like, I'm not really a crazy vest person. I feel like, I don't know, I just never wore vests as a kid. I always looked at people that wore vests and I was younger and I was like, what the fuck? But, um, and still, I'm not like, give me all the vests, you know? Like, it has to be a specific style fit. And this is just like the perfect vest. My friend Sydney last year knows how hard I was trying to find a white puffer that was all white. I didn't want to have like a black detail of a zipper, anything, velcro, literally all white and I could not find one. Um, and then I just fucking stumbled upon this for like seven dollars. So I'm gonna put it on. This is just the perfect fit honestly with a hoodie underneath. It's like puffy enough. It's simple. I'm just obsessed. Next I got a lot of shirts. One that I'm very excited about is absolutely the most gaudy t-shirt you'll probably ever see. It's like jingling. <laughs> okay, it's a little bit washed out on camera. It's more yellow than it's showing up. It says some weird shit. Pure and natural, be proud of yourself, love of the season. I don't know. At first I was like, okay, I'm just gonna cut whatever the hell this is off because it's just sewn on like super loosely. I can literally just take it off. But I tried it on and I'm kind of obsessed. Like, I honestly don't know what's happening to me. Like, anything that's just like the most gaudy thing that exists, I'm obsessed with it. Like, I just love it. So, don't get me wrong. Like, this is the kind of thing I saw this on the rack and I was like, what the fuck? Like, people really be designing this shit. And I'm the one that buys it. Like, I'm literally like, okay, but it's kind of cute, right? My mom's like, no. This makes me feel like my name is Tatiana and I'm living like a Russian dream. That is my goal in life. We'll see what I decide to do 
with this I could easily just take it off the next shirt I picked up which I know a lot of you will think is cute is this long sleeve and it's polo jeans I just really liked the fit of this um, I love the contrast stitching so I decided to pick it up and this was $8.99 I got a pair of pants actually and these are really really adorable so they're from Lisenza. I think they're pajama pants I bought these to kind of wear as either lounge pants or see if I can make them work to actually wear as pants. I really loved the Lisenza all over the waistband. It reminded me of Christian Dior when they had their monogram, like, I don't know, everything, like tank tops, little kitten heels with a sling back. Um, it just reminded me of that. <laughs> Bitch, it says Lisenza, like, calm down. But anyways, I thought it was cute. I've been loving cream lately, so I thought I would just pick these up and worst case scenario, wear them as lounge pants, okay? That's like, you always have that as a backup when thrifting. Just wear it as loungewear. They're flared pant bottom. I also love the material of these. It's like mini, mini, mini waffle knit almost. Like it's so, so slightly textured. I got this amazing set from Lucenza, and we've already talked about on my channel, like buying intimates, like bras and shit from Valley Village. Like, just wash it, like get over it, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't even phase me whatsoever. So if that's not your thing, like skip this part of the video. I don't know what to tell you. This is like a little over shirt. Like it's not a shirt, it's lingerie, but I'm gonna wear this as a shirt. So, okay, let's just start with the fact that it has little heart adjusters for the straps. That is like the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. It ties up in the front. So I could spin this around so that it ties in the back or wear it in the front. I'm obviously going to wear some sort of bra under this. I just loved the pattern of it. I think it's actually super adorable. Like the shit that goes through my head when I'm thrifting, I don't even know if I should expose myself. But this flower reminds me of Takashi Murakami's, um, like, it almost looks like it has a face. Does it? Am I tripping? Very Valentine's Day cutesy shit. And then, <laughs> you thought it was over, bitch? It comes with a matching, like, thong okay but i think this is so cute like it's just ruffled all around it has a bow in the back i don't know if it's weird to be showing you guys this like i think it's so cute and it matches the tank top so it was a set and i bought it i also bought one bra and this was kind of like maybe i could wear it under that i don't know it's all white and it's just like kind of got a shiny embellished design on the floral print has a little bow last thing that i got is a little t-shirt and this t-shirt all of this stuff is pink right now like i don't know what's happening but this t-shirt is just super super cute it has a heart in the middle which is very cute and then a little tab that just says model i'm like how could i not buy this like that's so cute it has like a circular hem to it which can't lie i'm not like crazy over um but it is cropped so it would be cute with a pair of lower waisted jeans a skirt that is everything i picked up during my last thrift trips so a week and a half ago this was a really good haul for me like i cannot lie i went to value village twice the one near my house um to film i actually did film both times like come thrift with me has got footage filmed the whole fucking trip and left with nothing <laughs> one time i left with literally nothing and the second time i bought like a couple things which i'll probably show you guys in a future haul um, I just thought there was like too much to add in the other stuff that I got. But um, yeah, so I was kind of like, oh my god, like is my thrifting career over? Like, am I never going to find stuff again? What's happening? Oh my god. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited to be filming again and that I'm feeling better and just ready to make some more content. Okay? Yeah, I don't know. I'm in like a weird fucking mood. Like this is the first time I've gotten ready and actually like spoken to someone in so long I feel like so we're back and we're excited I will see you guys in my next video